Shalom, this is Josh Magnified and I'm back with another informative video. Today's video is titled, Father Files Lawsuit in Federal Court and Won? Really? But before I tackle this subject as always, I must state for the record, I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. So with that being said, guys, let's get to it. But before I proceed any further, I need you all to hit that like button, okay? And also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, okay? And also, after you hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell so you all can get notifications when I post these powerful videos, which will give you all information to help you all receive remedy in your situation, all right? So now, I wanted to do this video a while back, but I've been so busy, guys, and I really haven't had time to get around to it. But also, you know, a lot of individuals been hitting me in my uh, emails asking me about this situation, okay? As you all can see, I, you know, this is one of the emails I found that I decided to post up, okay? And in the email, it's titled what? Father files lawsuit in one. You can defeat child support in federal court and win. That's the title that my ox sent me from the video that he's seen on YouTube, okay? But this information is not only on YouTube. This information is also going around in the uh, Facebook groups, Instagram, and any other uh, platform that they have child support discussions on, okay? And this is my response. Go to the case law and read it. The father won the appeal, which was remanded back to the lower court, which happened in the case, guys. So now, let's go to the case so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So we can get this right wisdom, this right knowledge, and this right understanding. So let's go there. Okay, so now, this is a fact of opinion that's going around all over the internet that's being used and explained to men and men are teaching that this case was actually won in federal court. Okay, we're going to see that this man actually get his child support case dismissed and everything else in federal court. Okay, since he moved and petitioned the courts of appeals and he petitioned the district court, we're going to see by him being a petitioner that he actually went in federal court, as some would like you guys to believe, okay? So we're not going to go over this document in, in its entirety. We're going to simply go over the points of the matter and what the court actually ruled, okay? So now, as you all can see, this document is in fact 24 pages long, guys. I do not have time to go over 24 whole pages with you all because there's so much to, to read and, you know, to, to discuss. I'm just going to only discuss the order and what was placed in the order and the ruling on this case, okay? So now, this document was uh, issued from the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. This is the case number. If you guys want to read over this case in its entirety, just simply Google that case number and this information should pop up, okay? It states what? Surrender Mahal versus... Who is the appellant, right? He is the appellant, meaning this is his case. He's moving the court. He is the appellant versus what? The Secretary, United States Department of State, Attorney General, New Jersey, State of New Jersey, and so many other uh, defendant guys who's also known as the appellees in the case. Okay. This was done on the appeals in the, the, in the United States District Court for the District uh, of New Jersey. Also, guys, I want you all to remember this case number, all right? Remember that case number. Okay. And also... The case was argued on April 3rd, 2019. Remember that date as well. Okay? So now, let's proceed forward to the opinion. It states, opinion of the court. Let's read at the top. This case arises out of a family law dispute that began in 2011 and remains pending in Hudson County, New Jersey. Okay? So the case is what? Remains pending in Hudson County, New Jersey. All right? I just want you all to see that. But now let's proceed forward. That should automatically raise a red flag. But it states, over the past eight years, the family court has required appellant Surrender Mahal to pay some three hundred thousand in child and spousal support to his punitive ex-wife, Elena Maranova. The crux of Mahal's complaint is that New Jersey officials violated his federal rights when they failed to reduce his support obligations after he was awarded custody of their two children. And Maranova attained a job that pays more than his own. The district court dismissed Mahal's second amended complaint, holding that it lacked jurisdiction under the Rooker-Feldman doctrine. And to, and to the extent it had jurisdiction, the district court declined to exercise it under Younger versus Hurst. Right? Then it says, in our review, meaning in the appeals court review, Mahal is entitled to federal court review on some of his claims 
That's all Mahal received. Federal review on some of his claims. So, let's continue. So we will affirm in part, reverse in part, and remand for further proceedings. So to affirm, to affirm in part means simply the appeals court agree with the district court. Okay? So on some of the counts that he bought, before the district court. The appeals court agree with the district court. So those arguments are dismissed. He lost those arguments in part. Right? The counts that remain. Uh, that the court does not agree with the district court to uh, uh, dismiss. They reversed that. Right? They reversed the dismissal. Right? And they remanded what was reversed. Back to the district court for what? Further proceedings. In the district court. Okay, it does not say his petition was granted and what he requested and all his counts against these individuals was granted. No, it was just remanded. Some of the counts was dismissed that he lost. The other counts was reversed and sent back to the federal district court. That's it. That's all, guys. For what? For further proceedings. So the federal court have to make a ruling on the counts that was not dismissed already. So now to further prove that, let's go down to the bottom. Let's go down to the last page. Like I tell you, it's all 20, it's 24 pages, so I'm not going to go over the whole 24 pages. But let's go down to the bottom. Just to further prove that. Like I tell you all, all my videos are all facts, all truth, all proof. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's continue on. Right here, it states what? The district court had federal question jurisdiction and should have fulfilled its virtually unflagging obligation to exercise that jurisdiction. We will what? Reverse its application of Rooker, Feldman, and Younger to counts 2, 5, and 6. So counts 2, 5, and 6 that was dismissed in the district court was reversed, right? Okay? Meaning they was reversed. They wasn't granted. They were simply reversed, right? Now, to further prove that, they was reversed and, let's go down, remanded, right? Remanded. For proceedings on the merits. So now they go back down to the what district court again. For district court can make a ruling on counts 2, 5, and 6 without just simply dismissing it for Rooker Feldman doctrine. Okay. Then it states what? We will affirm the court's dismissal of what? Counts 1, 3, and 4. So counts 1, 3, and 4 cannot be argued again in the district court. Why? Because the appeals court just simply what? Agree with the district court that those counts should be dismissed against the defendants, who is the appellees. Okay, so the appellees actually won the case. The appellant who was surrendered, who was surrendered, Mahal, he lost three of the six counts, and the other th uh, three counts have to go back down to the district court to be remanded. So now let's get the outcome of those last three counts to see if he won those last three counts in the district court. Let's see. So without further ado, let's go there. Okay, so now this is not the district court order. Before I get to the district court order, I just want to get, uh, I just want to show you all two more documents, okay? So you all can see what has happened in the district court once it was remanded back down to the district court. That's why I told you guys to do what? To remember this case number, right? Right here, this case number. I told you guys to remember this case number, right? And also, remember the date, because the date of the opinion was April the 3rd, 2019. The date this document was filed, which is now filed in the district court and not in the appeals court, was filed on what? December the 20th, 2019, meaning that the case still going on. Why? Because now the district court have to make a ruling on those last three counts that was not decided upon or that was reversed by the appeals court. Okay? So now I just want to show you all that this is in fact his third amended complaint. As you can see, this is in what? In the United States District Court for the District Court of New Jersey, right? Surrender Mahal again versus the same people, guys. Except some people were removed because... The first three counts that was dismissed and the appeals court agreed with those first three counts remove those defendants. Okay, they are removed. So they don't have to be there anymore. Why? Because the case was dismissed against them. So now these are the remaining defendants. Okay, and this is his third amendment complaint, guys. So now we see that we have the third amendment complaint. I'm not going to go over the third amendment complaint in its entirety. I just want to show you all that it was a third amendment complaint. Filed. If you all want the information, just simply do your research and Google it. You'll find all this information. Okay. So now let's go to the, uh, let's see, uh, what the defendants filed into the district court against his third amendment complaint. Let's go there real quick. Okay. So now, as you all can see, everything is still the same. 
So now we see the case number is still the same at the top, right? All that's still the same. Case number is still the same, right? But we see that this document was now filed on May the 11th, 2020, guys. Right here, May the 11th, 2020. So again, and this document is titled what? Same, everything's the same, but it's titled what? Brief in support of motion to dismiss third amendment complaint, right? So we see that surrender, uh, Mahal filed his third amendment complaint. Now we see that the defendants filed a motion to dismiss his third amendment complaint. So now we're going to see what the court ruled in this case. Let's go to the order, guys. Let's go there. Okay, guys, as you all can see, again, case number and everything is still the same, okay? But now if you look at the date of this order that was filed, it was filed on what? Filed on September the 30th, 2021, guys. Okay? So again, September the 30th, 2021. Recent. Okay? We let's find out what happened to this district court case. Let's see if he really won or not. Let's see if you can get remedy in federal court like they say you can. Let's see if that statement is true. It states what? United States District Court, District of New Jersey, right? Everyone is still the same. Order, right? It states, this matter comes before the court by way of the motion to dismiss the third amended complaint, again, of plaintiff surrender Mahal and Space Chase Consultant together, uh, together plaintiff, pursuant to federal rules of civil procedures 12B1 and 12B6. What I tell you guys about 12B1 and 12B6, which is what? Failure to state a claim upon risk, upon risk relief can be granted, but let's continue. Filed by the defendants, Gabira S. Grawl, in his official capacity as the Attorney General of the State of New Jersey, Larry Ashbridge, in his official capacity as the Chief of a Child Support Enforcement, uh, the New Jersey Office of Probation, the New Jersey Administrative Office of Courts Probations uh, Division, David Katz, in his official capacity as the New Jersey Superior Court Judge, and Donald Kessler, in his official capacity as a former New Jersey Superior Court Judge, plaintiff opposed the motion and defendants replied, for the reason set forth in the accompanying opinion, it is on the 30th day of September 2021 order that the defendant's motion to dismiss is granted and it is further ordered that plaintiff 30 minute complaint is dismissed with prejudice and it is further ordered that the court of, that the clerk of the court shall close this case so ordered. So again, guys, the guy clearly lost his federal lawsuit. So if the guy lost his federal lawsuit and did not receive remedy in federal court, why do you have these agents running around telling you guys to go into federal court? I keep telling you guys, you want your remedy to get in a state court. Can nobody on YouTube, can nobody on Instagram, can nobody on Facebook show proof of anyone getting remedy and winning their child support case in federal court? If they can, then show it. If they can't, they lying. And it's just that simple, guys. So look, that's all I'm going to do for today. Again, like, share, and subscribe. If you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. Let's get this right wisdom, this right knowledge, and this right understanding. Also, cop that merch. And with that being said, I say shalom.